By lucky coincidence, the state visit is happening the same week as the Kentucky Derby, America's most famous horse race. The official part of the trip has been suspended while the Queen has the day off, so she can indulge her lifelong passion. But there's no rest for the Queen's press secretary, Penny Russell Smith. She needs to find a good location for the Queen to be photographed with the Derby trophy. How big is the trophy? Yay big. And um, the table would be sort of this, this height? As this is an unofficial day, Penny wants to make sure the Queen is inconvenienced as little as possible. But always with an eye to the morning papers, a photo call is arranged. The sort of um, picture which the media really want to have is one ideally of the Queen with, with racehorses in the same frame, which isn't actually going to happen today because obviously with 130,000 plus racegoers, it's going to be very difficult for the Queen to get through to the paddock to actually see the horses. Penny's plan is for the Queen to grant the photographers a few moments en route to the Royal Box. Hang on a moment. There, with the horse above it. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. That's she, a stunning she has to, picture. She, she, okay, well, she has to veer that way and then over, that's but that's okay. fine. Okay. That's okay, we can, we'll do we can direct that. What we've got to do is try and organise it so the Queen knows exactly where she's going. I'll stand out there and brief, mm -hmm. um, and brief Mr Far Far Farish to stop short here, ready to guide the Queen away. So after the introduction, I suggest that Mr Ferguson, having stepped a little bit forward to shake hands, then gestures to the Queen like this. There's no need to sort of... Uh, he mustn't be backwards in, yes. in sort of... Yes. She likes the guidance. It is very difficult because one has to, of course, be careful to ensure that the Queen is able to enjoy the racing without having camera lenses pointing in her face, um, you know, every, every, every other minute. If people could just go, you know, back off a bit. I think you've managed to creep back again. Sorry, you're still a little bit close. If you could go back, you're actually pretty close to her. That's the problem. I still think that's a bit close. And what I'm after is um, going to look at the Queen's hat. She's wearing a decent hat. Do you know she's wearing a hat? No, but I will be able to tell you afterwards. OK, thank you. Then hopefully she backs the winner and we get her screaming it in on the rails. So, yeah, <laughs> that's so we can hope for. That looks good at the moment. Arthur Edwards has been the son's royal photographer for 30 years. I can tell when the Queen's coming over. When the body language changes, everybody sharpens up, everybody gets tense. The policemen get kind of anxious looking. People start straightening their buttons, straightening their tires, <laughs> making sure that their slip's not showing. And, uh, and it's just starting to happen now. Yeah, here we go. The Queen walks straight past the trophy setup. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Something went wrong. I don't think the Queen was briefed properly. She didn't even come anywhere near the trophy. Well, unfortunately, clearly they missed out the trophy, which means that the media have not had their photo opportunity. And we're now waiting to see if uh, one of the private secretaries can rebrief the Queen. Um, and ask her to come out to see the trophy. Right, the position is it will probably be after the first race. After the what race? First race. The next race? The mean? next race, yes, sorry, the next we'll race. We stay here, then? Okay. I think it's easier. That, that race is in roughly 15, 20 minutes. Is it? Yes. OK. It's um, quarter to nine in the evening in London. It's now getting very late, and... If we, another half an hour delay, we were supposed to be done and dusted and on the wire now. And the problem is I need to deliver now and uh, I can't because at the moment we don't have a real great picture of her match. For many, the main attraction is on two legs, not four. We just saw the queen. Oh, is she? She's right there. She has yeah. a team of bodyguards. Yes, she does. She looked beautiful. She did. She looked beautiful. Is she the one in the green with the red hat? Yeah. Shut up. She's the queen. She's so cool. Yeah. The queen is cool because she runs an entire country. She's over 80 years old and she's still the queen. I know. The fact that she traveled all this way just to see the derby. I mean, anyone could see it on TV. Well, 
we're having a revisited plan and um, hopefully the Queen will be coming out soon and we'll get the footage and the images that we need. But uh, it's taken a little bit of reorganising, but we're getting there. The solid gold Kentucky Derby trophy is kept by the winner, so a new one is made each year. Oh, that's a good one. Lovely. Very nice. Well done. See you later. Uh, Indiana got a nice picture of the Queen with the Kentucky Derby trophy. And at first, I thought it was going to be dreadful, but the Queen's smile just turned it into a real happy picture. Now, I could see that getting a run, perhaps not in the Sunday papers, but certainly on Monday. That's, of course, if there's not another Annie Leibovitz picture being issued Monday. <laughs>